Good evening, one and all. I'm Video Game Girl 64, and today we're going to be learning how to make some scripts with Pokemon Script Viewer. Now, to make scripts, there's a whole bunch of different programs you can use. You can use Notepad, Pokemon Script Viewer, and other stuff like that. I personally like to use Pokemon Script Viewer. It's my favorite. So yeah, we're going to start with opening our ROM. And for Pokemon Script Viewer, if you're too lazy to make your own scripts, there is a script generator right here. And it'll basically generate a script for all of these needs here. But if you rely on the script generator too much and you don't know how to make a script from scratch, you're not going to be able to make more advanced scripts. Like, this is all very simple scripting. So I use this when I'm too lazy to make a really simple script, like a person talking. But, like, I usually like to make my scripts from scratch. And that's exactly what I'm going to be showing you today. So today we're just going to make a script of a person talking. Not too complicated, very easy if you ask me. So we're going to start by typing down this. I don't know what this means or why I need to put it, but trust me, you have to. Okay, now we're going to start with org at start. This is, this is basically the start of the body of your script. Alright, we're going to put lock. Now what this does is when you are interacting with this person, your character will be locked, so you can't move around when you're talking to the person. Next we're going to put face player. What this does is the person you're talking to will turn towards you when you go to talk to them. Now sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. Depends on the situation basically. You don't have to put a face player if you don't want the person to be facing you when you're talking to them. But like 90% of the time, there's a face player in the script. And now we're going to put MSG box at, I don't know, person please. Now what I've done here is I told the game to bring up a message box and the message box name is person please. Now you're going to want to put, not really a quotation, I don't know what this is called, but it's like the, it's not a double quotation thing, it's like a single one. And I don't know, you're going to want to put like a small preview to what your script is going to say. Uh, I think that... Dot, dot, dot. I don't know. I'll come. I'll, I'll finish that later. So we'll come back to this part because this line here is very important. I'll talk about this more later. Now we're going to want to put call std space msg underscore normal. So I don't know what call std stands for, but message underscore normal that goes after it. Basically, tells the game this is a normal text box which is coming from a normal person there's nothing special about it it's just the basic text box now you're going to want to release what that does is basically remember how your character has become locked well you have to release it at the end of the script or you won't be able to move or do anything so you always 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 have to put a release if you've locked your player and then you end the script. So this is the body of your script. This is the main part. Now, for a person talking, we're going to have to put one extra little spot. And this is where MSG box person please comes in. So you put org at person please. Now, it doesn't matter what you name this section. It doesn't have to be called person please. That's just the first thing that came to my head. So yeah. We're naming this section, person please. And now you're going to want to go down one. You're going to want to put the equal sign, space, and now you're going to enter your text. I think that, I don't know, ladybugs are way, and I'm going to stop here. Basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put something that's going to look really weird. I'm going to put backslash n. You might be wondering, like, what the fuck are you doing that for? That's stupid. So, basically, 
A text box can only hurt. <clears throat> Sorry. A text box can only hold 30 characters per line. So those of you who have played Pokemon, you know a text box has two lines per text box. And each line can hold 30 characters, so that's 60 characters per text box. So when you've reached that 30 character point, and you want to go down to the next line, you have to put backslash N. And if you don't, the text box is going to look messed up because you're not going to the next line. It's just going to keep going across the same line over and over again. So I think ladybugs are way too cool. Now I'm going to show you another command. Backslash L. Now, basically what backslash L does is... Okay, imagine you're talking to a person in the game. And... You see the text box, both lines are full, and then it scrolls down to the next line. It doesn't close the text box and open up a new one, it just scrolls down to the next line. That's what backslash L does. Don't worry, you'll see an example when I'm done making this person, if you don't understand what I'm talking about right now. I'll show you an example when, I've done, when I'm done putting the script into the game. Uh, I don't know. Don't you agree? And I'm going to show you the last, basically, command. I don't know, but I'm going to show you this last thing. It's backslash P. Now, what backslash P does is when you're reading a script, and instead of scrolling to the next line, it opens up a whole new page in the text box. Once again, you'll see what I'm talking about, and I'll show you the example, because I'm not good at explaining this. Don't you question mark. Okay. So, you're still confused about why I put this section here. I don't know if this part is necessary, but, like, they always have a little section that looks like this in the actual scripts in the game. So, they usually have, like, a little preview. Like, they put, like, the first three words of the text box, and they put dot, dot, dot. I don't know if it's necessary, but I put it there anyways. You guys can test whether it's necessary or not, but I'm not going to change my ways. So this is our script. We've got the body, and we've got the subsection for person please. What we're going to do now is we're going to click on compile, and computer log is not really that important. You can exit out of that. So we've got the dynamic offsets. Start, which is this part, and person please, which is this part. We're going to want start, because that is the main body of our paragraph. Paragraph? Whoa, that's not a paragraph. That's the body of our script. My bad. And I might be wondering, what do I do with this number, and how does this go in the game? This is where advanced map comes in. Da -da 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 -da. Epic scrolling skills. Okay, so I've got advanced map open here. I'm trying to line this up, but it's not working quite well. Whatever, good enough for now. So I've got advanced map here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another person into Viridian City. And I don't know, I'm going to put this person right here because I'm really lazy. And I'm going to make you, uh, you're, you're going to look like that. Alright, you're a girl. And now, if we scroll down in here a little bit, you'll see the script offset. Now this is where the dynamic offset comes in. We're going to want to take this number, well, not really number, but we're going to want to take this, 724BE4, and type it into here. So, 724BE4, and we're just going to save that. And now we're going to test it so you can actually see what the script looks like. So, I'll be right back. Alrighty, so uh, I am in Viridian City or whatever. Oh, my bad. Pewter City. Have I been calling it Viridian City this whole time? Oh, I feel stupid. Okay, so we've got this chick over here. I'm going to talk to this chick, and she's going to be like, I think ladybugs are way too cool. Now you see how it says, I think that ladybugs are way on the first line. And then it goes down to the second line and says, too cool. That's where backslash N comes in. And you see how it just scrolled down to don't you agree? That's where backslash L comes in. And you see how it went to a whole new text box and to say don't you? 
that's where backslash P comes in. So yes, we have uh we have successfully made a person talk to us. Happy face. So I guess that's it for now. This has been Video Game Girl 64. I am over and out.